What does peace mean to you? Never getting into any arguments? Zero conflict? Being able to go about your day to day without any worries? Or could it be being able to sleep as long as you want? Having all your problems dealt with? Being truly free from the shackles of society? Whatever it is, I believe we all should strive for it. In a previous video I released, before a lot of the allegations were made by both Drake and Kendrick, I criticized Cole for apologizing and trying to distance himself from the rap beef. In his lyrics, he claims, If, if I smoke, smoke a rapper, rapper it's gonna, gonna be legit. legit. And I felt like this was his time to be legit. He had every right to respond with hostility. After all, if you're at this shit daily, so, so much activist, 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 that they should pay me. If practice made perfect, I'm practice his baby. If practice made perfect, I'm practice his baby. You should have been able to handle anything rap-wise, but now knowing how the conflict played out, I understand why he withdrew. This quickly devolved from rap to who can get the most dirt on the other person, who can make the other person look as crazy as possible on a beat. I think originally, Cole assumed it would be about who rapped better, and that's it. So it's no surprise he wanted no part of it. What, was he supposed to share his personal details about the people he considered friends to win in the eyes of Twitter? Cole and Kendrick go way back. Cole being part of the reason K-Dot was signed to Dre and got his chance to shine. J. Cole, did you tell Dr. Dre about Kendrick? Who told you that? <laughs> Who gave you that piece of information? He just asked the craziest question, which, yes, the answer is yes, I did. Um... So I retract my closing statements in the J. Cole video, the part where I criticized him for walking back his statements about Kendrick. I definitely do still agree with a few of the other ones scattered throughout. Dissing No Name and Lil Pump, then immediately getting him back cool with them was pointless. I guess he was still learning though, as we all are. Moving on to Thorfinn, this section contains major spoilers. If you're at all interested in the anime Vinland Saga and haven't watched it, please click off this video and return at a later date. Thorfinn is someone who's been fighting since the age of six. His father tried to impart the concept of how aimless violence is into him, but how can a child comprehend that? Adding on to the fact he was deleted in front of him after winning a duel he had, the young boy spent his entire childhood and most of his teams plotting revenge on a man that snuffed his father's life from him. Every day he awoke, retaliation was on his mind. Imagine living like that for over 10 years. Having all that hate in your heart is unhealthy. Ultimately, when Askeladd meets his end, Thorfinn loses all purpose. Surely because of the realization, he wasted much of his time fighting and being drunk off of his own anger. And in the end, it got him nothing. Luckily, once he's sold into slavery, Thorfinn is able to rebuild himself. He has to suffer through various nightmares and has PTSD, along with visions of all the men he slaughtered, but comes to a conclusion reflecting on his father's words. You have no enemies. He vows to become a kinder, gentler person, hating himself for all the wrong he did. He just wants peace. He just wants to be able to sleep at night. And that flows perfectly back into J. Cole's philosophy. Both of these men want peace. Why even fight? Especially when it's with a man you respect and consider a friend. Earlier in the video, I mentioned the topic of lyrics. Cole has quite a few songs on the tape, For Your Eyes Only, and throughout his other projects, where he preaches peace. You just gotta listen and find them and how he loves to be with his wife and providing for her. I say I wanna fold clothes for you. I wanna make you feel good. Not having to put on a front and be tough all the time is refreshing. Back to the comparison. I understand they both took drastically different paths to get where they ended up, but the similarities are glaring. Thorfinn, Cole, I understand. Being mad all day, every day, and fighting is extremely exhausting. If you have the option to fix your problems without the possibility of death, why wouldn't you pursue that? In Cole's case, he would end up having to appease the many fans on the internet who are already extremely fickle and flip floppy. So I support his decision in choosing what he wanted, as well as Thorfinn's. When met with hostility, they both chose to flee. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world wanna see blood. It's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like forgiving for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm gonna take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. Why endure drops blows rather than fighting back? Beating a man into submission is no way to start a peace negotiation. I don't have one enemy among these men. I have 
No enemies at all. There was no point in fighting. They protected their peace. But that's all I had to say on the matter. Agree? Disagree? Was this whole thing a major reach? Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, sand lord, I'm out of here.